Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the mid-season for the third season that we're spending in the championship. I hope that makes sense. If you've been following the previous episodes, you will know that we've been in the championship now, I think it's three seasons. Uh, yeah, it is. The, the first season we barely escaped relegation. The second season we did a little bit better. And for my complete surprise, and probably yours too, this time around we are well within the playoff zone. We're currently third when we've been uh, we've been quite consistent uh, in and around that uh, playoff zone. I think we went up to second in one place. Maybe third. I think maybe just third. Yeah. So we've been up, um, up in third for a consistent length of time. I'm so sorry, I've just yawned that. Um, yeah, pretty consistent li- length of time. We're looking really good. Tom Yates is doing really well for us as well, which helps. Uh, Tom Yates is our goalkeeper. But with that, before I get too far ahead, um, let me just take you through the review that we did uh, in January. So in, if you'll be familiar, if you've been following for a while, that in January I do a squad review. So I'm not, let me take you through that. Um, I don't think much else changed in the meantime. So, oh yeah, the, the training facilities have been improved in November. So that's been completed. We now have great training facilities. Now, one minor change to the squad right at the start of the season was that I uh, I made a, f- a, a change to the striker position. So we had uh, Miles Shiny who's been our main striker for the season. We had him, and we also had a backup kid, Jack, uh, Jake Bailey, who was from our under-23s. He wasn't very good, so I went and tried to find like, a replacement that was slightly better. And I found this kid, Slavi Stoshkov, quite cheap and, you know, not amazing, but not absolutely terrible either. He's happy to just be a pure backup which is great and that means that our our own youth um, player can play more consistently by playing in the uh, under 23s so that's that update so that happened in August of the season now in January then uh, I made a couple of changes I went and got back Ellis Coyne uh, who used to play with us back at the very beginning, I think, when we were, yeah, Skybet League 2. He played with us for a whole season, almost the entire season, and he was a- absolutely great um, for us that season. He was the reason we got promoted, to be honest. So he's back just as a backup now for us. He's played one game so far, and we relegated... Um, last year's goalkeeper to the end of 23s because basically he's only 21, I think. Where's Duncan? Duncan Wright's 22 now. Uh, so he played for us last season for the entirety of the season. But this season, Tom Yates is in top performance, so we relegated this guy to the end of 23s. We'll probably, if we don't use him next season, we'll sell him. Um... So that's one of the changes. The other change was that we sold uh, one of our centre-backs and promoted one of our under-18s, actually, to the first team. So, Alan Jones, who's currently got, got a bid on, actually, for a contract, but we've we've matched a bid. He's been promoted to be in and around the first squad. He's usually a sub. He's played now two games, one as a a starting lineup and a second one as a sub. So he's just been there, you know, practice training and being mentored and all that. Whilst we made some buck by selling um, uh, where is he? Brandon Cooper. We sold him. Uh, How much did we get him for initially? For free. Okay, so we made a profit. So we sold him. He wasn't very good anyway, anymore, for us. So before he got too old, we decided to sell him. It'll, as you'll also see, 
in January, I continued to sell some youth players. So I sold one of our um, uh, halfbacks. Uh, he was starting, to, you know, next next year he wouldn't be able to play in under 23s anyway. Um, so we decided to sell him off. So that we sold Scott. We sold also one of the goalkeepers, Eddie. And we also sold uh, Michelangelo for the same reason. So those three us we sold for that reason. Now, Mike Allen, we uh, we didn't sell, we, we loaned out because he was creating all kinds of problems in the under 23s. He's a temperamental uh, player and he's terrible, he's horrible, absolutely horrible. Uh, ratings of 4.5 and 5 and consistently always getting annoyed at whatever I tell him and skipping practice so we just decided you know what you're gonna go play in another club because we don't want you around here anymore um so that that was that so essentially no changes to the squad at all except we swapped a couple of the backup players out for you know different players but that was it so that those are all the changes in january a new backup goalkeeper and a new um Backup centre back. Sorry, my notes just froze, so that's why I'm like a bit confused. Okay. For some reason, let me just change the screen, hide them away, and actually properly close them down because they seem to be having a bit of a bit of a dif difficult day for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that's happened. Anyway, okay, carrying on then. So yeah, so if if I pull up the schedule, so we've lost the very first, the very, the two, the first two matches of, wait, did I start? I can't remember which matches I showed last episode. In any case, I th yeah, I think I did start with the first two matches. Uh, yeah, so we, lo for, we lost the first two, then we managed to like not do so well, and then we started winning. And then we started winning some more. And then we started to win some more. That's a friendly, so it doesn't count. So yeah, so lots and lots of wins. The first time we lost again was in January. So we've had now two losses for the championship and one loss for the FA Cup in January. Uh, but so far, so good. Now we're playing Huddersfield. And Huddersfield are in 16th at the moment. So in theory, we should be okay. Uh, we've got Tom Yates, who's been our main keeper for this season. Andre has been injured, but he has been our choice uh, right wing back for the season. Brad, Hills and Harkness have been solid throughout the season, always playing. Now, the only reason we're playing Olivia is because Emmanuel Ezzi is injured. Manuel, as you will remember, is from our own youth setup. He's been doing very well. Uh, Neil Mott or Neil Moot and Alan Jardine is basically like the interchangeable. Then in that position is not very very strong at the moment. Same goes for the box to box. This position is not very strong at the moment. Then we've got Santush, also usually plays in this position. Finley and Chaos, Chaos. Uh, I'm not sure why, I'm, why are we not playing Chaos. Oh, he's declined quite a bit the last five matches. Okay. So we're giving Finley a go. He's got six goals anyway this season, so there should be plenty of reason to play him. Dodds and uh, Miles is injured, so we're playing Slavi, our backup. So we don't have all of our players. We don't have Evie, uh, sorry, um, Ezzy, and we don't have Miles. And... Chaos is having a bit of a... It was just those last few games, I think. Not playing too well. Uh, but that's fine. So let's go for it. We're going positive. And we are... <coughs> uh, early crossing through the right. So that will be through Antonio Santos. And... Nothing different there. <coughs> In a low block and tighter marking. So that's that's fine. Let's see how we can do against a Huddersfield. Now, of course, the biggest surprise is we are 
in the promotion zone. It's quite likely we will continue to be in the promotion zone. I don't think we'll get direct promotion because we'd have to be in either second or first place. Um, <clears throat> now, this also causes poses some potential issues. If we do get promoted, which you know could happen, our budget is minuscule. So I've posted um, a couple of uh, screenshots on Patreon. You know, there's a graphic that appears comparing our wage budget or our wage spending uh, on a weekly basis, I think, with all of the um, other clubs within the league. And we come at the bottom, I think it's 78k per week or yeah, something like that. Whilst Norwich, which is currently in first place or maybe second place. Anyway, Norwich at the top of the league above us. Sorry, in the top of the league, in the, in the places above us. Um, they spend 1.5 or 1.6 million a week in wages. So you can kind of see the difference there. Like, uh, we're going to go into the Premier League with potentially only 100k of wages a week, which is possibly, you know, Six, 16 times less than the lowest other team in the league. Um, I, I, I actually don't know how, many, how much they... Uh, oh, Huddersfield is doing really well against us today. Um, yeah, so that is going to be an issue because we're not going to be able to negotiate contracts with players that might... Good players that might be attracted to our club. They might want to come and play for us, but we're not, might, we might not be able to afford him. So, interesting. It could be very interesting. However, if we do get promoted, this will force the board to invest. At least I would hope it would force the, force the board to invest. Because our stadium is still only 8k seats. Not all of them seated, actually. It's 8k places, but not all of them seated. I think it's only 5.5k seats. And the rest of them are standing. Uh, our... Um, sponsorship is tiny as well. We consistently make per month uh, within the season we make a loss, about three or four hundred k loss per month. We managed to make the money back in the summer because um, of season tickets and solidarity payments and also the participation payment. That we get from the league. Um, but yeah. We, we're not able to survive. On our regular income. And while that happens. While we're still making a loss. Month. Every month. Um, we won't really be able to. Uh, make the type of cash. That we need for big transfers. Or big wages, either. So we might have to rely a little bit on our youth setup. Now, is our youth setup, the current players that we have, good enough to play in the Premiership? Probably not. I doubt it. But I, we don't even know if we're going to get promoted. But we, we're in a good place to get promoted to the Premiership. However, this game against Huddersfield is concerning me a bit. They are considerably lower than us in the league. It might just be because we're missing a couple of players. Uh, O'Neill is not doing too well, and usually as he would play here. Neither is the striker. But to be honest, there are more players also not doing too well. So they're not the only culprits. We'll play one more match just to see how that goes. That was just a pass into nothingness. Don't like it when they do that. I prefer it if they went a bit more. But it might just be because I've set up with direct passing. Um, quite a high level of direct passing. But still, you'd shoot 
hope that they just kick the ball somewhere where at least someone has a chance of getting it. We just run off the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, it's being will be highly unlikely we'll draw now. They have to score two goals in a very, very short amount of time. Yes, so we did play in the FA Cup. We got through the first round for us, which was actually the third round. So the FA Cup third round, we got through it, which was nice. We got a little bit of income. Then for the second one, we got Liverpool. Which, by the way, are our new parent club. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that. We changed the parent club again. We're now in Liverpool. We drew the first leg. Well, it was only meant to be one leg anyway, but, but we drew, so I had to replay it. We drew at home, and then we lost away. So we didn't get... Um, we didn't get a prize income, but we did get, strangely enough, some... Um, extraordinate amount of um, gate re gate receipts from that. Okay, so we're going to rest Dodds. We'll play Noon for the next uh, next match. Okay, oh, we're playing Burnsley next. Okay, that this could be interesting because Burnsley is currently in top position so I could also be showing you two losses now this could quite possibly be a loss this next match as well maybe I've just chosen the really wrong a wrong time to come in and show you uh, the matches um, okay so the reason also the reason I came in now so this is the end of February um, is because uh, because like just I, I had to I wasn't able to record straight after the January review because I was away it just makes it easier for me if I came back now at the end of February because that would give me uh, a good chance to record an episode before the while well, still in like in the mid season and not at the end of the season so that um, I can then come back for the last or the couple of the couple either the last game or the last few uh to do another episode for the end of the season as well obviously that will all depend on whether or not we get playoffs or not because playoff episodes are usually quite interesting because I, I usually cut those up just to have the matches so that it saves on time just in case we have to do three matches because three matches is too big to fit into one episode. Okay, so as you can see, last month for the because of the FA Cup, we got a really extraordinary amount of money for great receipts. So we didn't make a loss. We made a profit. The first time this season we've made a profit within the season. So outside the summer months. Okay. It looks like someone's got picked. Oh no, Alan Jardine. Fine. So we didn't get top goal. Although this year our players are being selected for more awards. Or at least getting on the podium for awards. One thing I'm also going to demonstrate is how I do training. So let's go to the team report. I'm trying to, to improve at the moment. You can see here we've got corners, dribbling, finishing, and first touch. Quite, we're quite poor at it, technically, especially finishing in, in corners. But at the moment, I'm just focusing on finishing, so um, it's calendar. So I give, I always give uh, a bit of rest, so they'll have a rest today, and then we're going to practice things that will be useful to develop a better finishing um attributes so obviously still mixing it up though so overall 
outfield attacking and I fill out all these rest slots that we don't need. We don't need all these rest slots. I'm going to practice all of the attacking stuff. And we're also going to uh, practice uh, chance conversion. And then I always give them some community outreach and some team bonding to complete that sequence. And then I'll give them one slot of rest and then start again with some more finishing stuff. But I'll do that another time. I'm just going to play Burnley. And this the, must be the second time now we're facing them. So look at the uh, where do I look schedule. So Burnley, 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 Burnley nil nil last time we played. So not all is lost, but it was nil nil at home. Okay, Alan Alan Jones confirmed. Um, nil nil at home. Now we're gonna be playing away. So, um, could be, ooh, could be interesting. Now, um, Alice Coyne has pulled a calf muscle. He's going to be out for six weeks, but that's fine. He's only like a backup goalkeeper anyway, so we don't really need him. That's all good. Praising all the people that have done the best. Giving a slight telling off to the people that have done the worst in training. Nip things in the bud. Okay, Swan God, I am actually going to reject all of those because at the moment I'm not I'm not selling players, I don't need to sell players at this point in time. Now, let's have a look at the team. So Tom Yates is always our keeper. Ellis Coyne is injured anyway. So actually, let me take him out of the bench. We're going to play with Andre. Okay, fine. Our usual centre-backs. Now, is Ezzy back? Ezzy's back. Um, Alan Jardine. <coughs> gonna leave Mike for now. Um, that's all good. That looks good to me. Yeah, I'll keep with this guy for a little bit longer. And Miles. Because we got our main back, our main squad back. And let me just check if we've got all the positions that we need. Yes, we do. Fab. Okay, let's have a look at what the coaches are saying f as far as tactics. Whoops. Okay, so we've made all the changes they wanted us. I'm going to go back to balanced because that always defaults for to cautious. I don't know why. Back to balanced. So we're going to play on the left. Or also, we were going to rest dots, won't we? Did I do that? No. Let's rest dodds. Um, yes, so I was saying we're going to play on the left, so we're going to play via dodds. No, uh, noon. We're going to play via noon because dodds is out on the bench. No changes here. And here we're going to bring up the defense line and take out tighter marking. It's a bit more freedom. To our defense and try to keep Burnley out of our um, out of our zone. Try to keep them away from our goal. I was looking for my phone just now. Um, I just realized it's not with me. It's annoying. Um. Right, so, now, if, I mean, winning against Burnley obviously helps to keep and maintain our position. We don't want to fall off the playoff zone, that's for sure. 
and actually winning against Burnley would help us to stay closer to the top because it's all relative isn't it so if they miss out on three points we get three points in the case of a win and that bumps everyone else up a little bit Okay, Andre, keep it in. Very nice. Crossing into the box. Oh, Dodds. Oh, not Dodds, sorry. Noon. Noon really got that in. Okay, but we're pressing quite well. That's nice. As he missed it now. Hills covered it. Harkness helping. Tom Yates waiting for things to come back in the control. Over to Hills. Center's on the right. He's cutting inside. I'm not sure what he's doing. Passing it over to Noon. Noon's got a cross here. And Center's heads it in. Very nice. Very well played. So 1 0 up. Now let's see if a table comes up. Nothing yet. In oh, there we go. So up to third, and we've, we're closing our gap against Burnley, and everyone else's gap against Burnley. They obviously must have had to adapt their strategy now that they're losing. Yeah, there we go. So they came back. He was alone, actually. How did this happen? Arms. And he's on the edge and he's not being tracked by Ezzy. Is that Ezzy? No, that's Andre. Okay, so Andre. We will fall back into fourth, I think. Ooh, we could be losing now. Dodd, uh, Davis. I keep saying Dodds. It's just like it. It just comes out as a reflex. He plays for us so off, so often that it just comes out as a reflex. But to be honest, Dodds replacement, which is noon, or I shouldn't say replacement, backup. Um, he's also very good. He plays quite well for us. So that position now he's, I'm quite happy with. The right side, not quite so much, although Antonio has put in a goal today, but not quite as effective the, the that side of the field. Uh, okay, this is a problematic position. And good thing I put Chaos in, because we're going to try and use him and I'm gonna put this guy striker Santos a striker and I bring in right to replace Santos on the right and to be fair we have used this combination quite often but with Dodds I think not sure how often we've done it with noon Controlled by Yates. Yates has been a f absolutely fantastic for us this season. Uh, wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if he got named goalkeeper of the year? Oh, my camera just switched itself off. Just there. It's because we've been recording now for um, a half hour, or nearly half hour. Okay, so we are losing now. That means we're back to fourth place. But um, but to be fair, I'm not too upset. I mean, we're playing against Burnley. Away from home. On much less than the 16th of their budget. 
probably less than tw the twentieth of their budget, quite possibly. So not too upset. Okay, here we go. We're still in fourth, and it's very, very likely I think that we will still be within the playoff zone by the time that you know it starts to close in on us. Uh, let's say. I, there's nothing I can say about that. I'm not going to say anything about a previous member stuff. And we're going to rest Santush. And as it, eventually we won't have to rest players because the calendar is going to become a little bit better. More space between um, between games. Yeah, so we started losing a little bit. Since the Jan since January, I'm not entirely sure why, but yeah, we have we have started losing a little bit. Um, yeah, so we can be anywhere between first and nineteenth, which is oh, still a very big gap. But uh, I will catch you again in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also check out the Patreon and all the things in the description as well. I've got like links there. So take care. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.